Yo, what's up guys, it's Jeff from Updated and today is the day. We have the official release of iOS 15, iPadOS 15, watchOS 8, and tvOS 15 being released to the public. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing iOS 15 specifically and going over what devices are compatible, how you can install it onto your own devices, and also what new features and changes you should be looking for when you first get it installed. So let's get started. Today's beta update video is brought to you by Provado VPN. Provado VPN is by far one of the best value VPN services out there that only costs you $5 a month. With that, you get access to hundreds of servers spread across 47 server locations worldwide, unlimited monthly data, and a ton of privacy-focused features that ensure that your internet browsing experience is truly private. Now, I personally love using a VPN to change my location from the United States to the United Kingdom so I can access different sportscast in Europe. And what's really cool about that experience is when watching a high-quality sportscast, I never experience any buffering or lags by using Provado VPN. So if you're looking for a reliable and also very fast and secure VPN service, check out Provado VPN through the link in the video description down below. Anyone that signs up through that link, whether that be for the yearly plan or just one month, will be eligible for a $200 Apple gift card reward as we'll be giving away one of those gift cards to every 10th user that signs up from now until the end of the month. So check out Provado VPN, the best value VPN service out there. Okay, so for iOS 15 specifically, there's a list of iDevices on screen that are compatible with iOS 15. Now this device list is absolutely it. Unfortunately, if you own a device that isn't listed here, there is absolutely no way you can get iOS 15 installed onto your device. So with that said, before you move on to the next step of this video, which is of course the installation step, make sure that the device that you want to install iOS 15 on is actually listed in this graphic on the screen. Now, next up is the installation process, which is actually extremely simple. What I will say though, is that to ensure your data is secure and that you have a solid backup to go back to, should you want to downgrade back to iOS 14, make sure that you have a backup of your device via iCloud, your Mac, or a third-party application like iMazing, which works on both Mac and PC. Please, please, please do not skip that step. Even myself who has a ton of iPhones and iPads laying around, I still make backups of my device before installing new software because you just never know what could happen. It's happened to me in the past. I've lost all of my data. Just trust me, you wanna have a backup. Okay, so with the backup out of the way, the next big step is to open up your iDevice, head into the settings app, and then go into the general menu. Now in that menu, you'll see the software update menu, which is where you'll want to go to update to iOS 15. In this menu, you'll see the prompt to update to iOS 15 when your device receives that update over the air. And from there, you can actually follow the on-screen directions to finish the installation process. But I do recommend that one, you have a good amount of extra storage available for the installation file. And then number two, your device either is plugged into a power source or at least has 75% battery left just to be safe. Now, once that installation is finally completed, it's time to really experience iOS 15. And next we'll go over five new features and changes that you'll wanna check out once you've updated your own personal device to iOS 15. Okay, so number one is enabling or ensuring that the Find My Network has been enabled. Now, this feature allows your iPhone or other iDevices to be found even when the device has been restored or even powered off. So obviously, this is an awesome feature to have if your device has been lost or stolen, and the way to enable it is to go into the Settings app, then onto the iCloud menu. From here, go into the Find My menu, and then onto Find My iPhone. Here you will see the Find My Network toggle and you want to make sure that this is turned on to enable that super awesome security feature. Now the second feature you really wanna check out is the new focus feature. 
Now, the new focus feature is sort of the very familiar do not disturb feature with a ton of new advancements that were much needed. So now with focus, you can create your own profiles to suspend all notifications altogether, deliver only certain notifications from apps or people, or you can even hide different apps so you can stay focused on the work at hand. Now I've personally set up my own work profile to eliminate all notifications from Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, and to only deliver notifications from the people listed as favorites in my contacts. That way, when I'm working, I can stay focused across all of my devices and get to all of the social media and other stuff after my work is done. So guys, there are so many possibilities on how you can use the new focus feature. So definitely check it out in the settings app when you first install iOS 15. Okay, so moving on to the third new feature and that is the new enhanced Apple Maps. So Apple Maps did get a little bit of a facelift so with some brand new UI, but we also saw some pretty handy new features as well. The best out of the bunch for me was the new arrive by setting, which allows you to select a time that you'd like to arrive at your desired location. Now, this has been a huge help for me as far as time management goes, and I see myself more on time for my meetings or events when I know when I need to leave by to stay on schedule. Now, the next new feature is a revamped Photos app that has a lot of new features that I think you guys will absolutely love. Now, if you take a photo with your iPhone, you can now see the metadata for that specific photo. That will show you the camera that took the photo and the settings that were used specifically. It will also show you the date, time, and also GPS data that are attached to that photo as well. Now also in the Photos app is the ability to extract text from your photos. So as you can see, I took a photo here and I can actually get the name, email, and number of the contact on it. And that allows me to not have to read it out and type it when I need to use that information. I can just go ahead and copy and paste. This also works a lot better in the Notes app as well when you scan documents. So you'll find that in iOS 15 overall, text recognition and data recognition as a whole works a whole lot better. Okay, so moving on to the last and final feature I wanted to point out, and that is the new privacy features that iOS 15 delivers. So now when you go to the iCloud menu in the settings app, you have new privacy related features such as private relay and hide my email. So what are these new features? Well, Private Relay is essentially a VPN-like service from Apple. Whenever you browse the internet or access it in any way, all of your information goes through Apple servers, which hides your IP address and keeps all of that data untraceable. This essentially keeps websites from tracking your activity based on your home IP address and protects you from unwanted advertising as well. Now, at this point in time, VPNs uh, do work a whole lot better than Private Relay, but it is still in a beta form, so expect continued development on this new feature from Apple um, in the near future. Now, the other new feature is Hide My Email, and Hide My Email allows you to create new email addresses that you can distribute to the internet, and they will allow you to limit the spam and unwanted emails that we all receive. Now this way, if someone sells that email data to someone, you can either change that email or completely delete it and stop receiving those unwanted emails without having to go through such a great hassle. Now this new feature has actually come in handy uh, for a very long time for me, and I think it's one of the best new privacy features Apple has been working on because it limits spam and those unwanted emails so, so well when you are able to just give a essentially fake or pass through email to someone like a provider and then uh, not have to provide your real email. So guys, those were the two new privacy related features in iOS 15 and these are huge steps for Apple as they are working to keep your internet browsing experience uh, through their devices as safe and protected as possible. So definitely check those new features out. 
Okay, so guys, that was a brief rundown of which devices are compatible with iOS 15, instructions on how you can install this new version of iOS onto your personal devices, and of course, what you should look for when you are looking for new features in iOS 15. Of course, there's so much more to iOS 15 as there are new features like SharePlay, a new FaceTime experience, improved spotlight performance, and a ton of UI changes that truly make iOS 15 so unique. Now, if any of you guys have any questions or comments about today's video, I encourage you to leave those comments in the comment section down below. But if you want to check out more features that I was just referring to, make sure to check out the links in the video description down below for more information. Now, if you want to stay up to date with any new content on the new iPads or the new iPhones that were just announced at Apple's WWDC event, make sure to check the links down below, get subscribed to the channel, and also just stay tuned because those videos will be coming in the next few days. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video on the updated YouTube channel. Before you head out, make sure to get subscribed and also hit that notification bell button to stay up to date for when we publish any new content here on the channel. Also, if you want to check out some other things that we have going on, check the channel information link down below. It's solo.to slash updated. You can check out our channel memberships, our merch store, my personal Twitter account, which you should totally follow, and a link to the updated podcast where we have new episodes every single week. That podcast is called The Infinite Loop, and we talk about everything going on in the world of tech. Also, we have links to our giveaways sponsored by awesome companies like Provado VPN. So definitely check those out as well. We'll have a new one every single month. So guys, thank you again for watching today's video and we hope to see you guys in some upcoming content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.